Okay, everybody, what's going on? So I decided to uh, jump into the YouTube scene again, and I want to try and do this more promptly, except finding time to do so is really a pain in my arse. Um, but I figured, hey, why not just jump into this with a problem that I discovered with a program that I was running called OBS Studio. This is my screen recording software, and uh, if you're using it, like if I open it up right now, you can see massive amounts of infinite of the screen that's because it's actually working but before it was just gray like this outline here and uh, I wasn't able to see my full screen so I'm gonna show you how to fix that problem and it's really easy this tends to only happen on Windows 10 uh, Windows 8 does have some problems as well uh, there's two methods that you can go and do uh, for Windows 7 and 8 users uh, what you would do is you would right click on your uh, shortcut here or uh, your icon and go to properties and go to compatibility and again this is for Windows 7 and 8 and if you want it to run correctly you have to check this box and select Windows 8 or 7 and if you're using Vista which I don't know why you would because you can just update to Windows 10 for free you might as well and then just click OK you don't have to click apply because OK will click apply for you. Now if you're running Windows 10 you run into this issue with um, uh, the NVIDIA drivers. Uh, so if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, so the previous thing that I just said will work for Windows 10 but only if you do not have an NVIDIA graphics card. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card uh, that method is not going to do you any good. Uh, you're going to have to resort to this method. Which you just right click on your desktop and you're going to see NVIDIA control panel. So select NVIDIA control panel. And once it comes up, it takes a little second to load because it has to access the actual video card, the software on the video card. And uh, you're going to go to manage 3D settings and you're going to go to program settings. Once you select the program settings, it's going to do a quick scan and see all the programs that utilize the NVIDIA drivers. Uh, for graphics display and what you're going to do is you're going to open this up right here the select program to customize and it's a drop down and you're going to look for open broadcast software which is OBS 64 bit or 32 bit whatever you run chances are it's going to be 64 bit if you have an NVIDIA graphics card and if it's not there you can just hit add and it will take you to directories and you just go to your program files and select the executable to run the program once you do that uh, this right here is probably going to say use global settings, which is auto select. Uh, and then there's high performance NVIDIA processor and integrated graphics. You're going to select integrated graphics. Basically what this does is it tells your NVIDIA processor that it doesn't need to overclock for maximized graphic production. Uh, so it's just going to use the, the basic integrated graphics on the whole root of your system. And that right there will fix the issue with Windows 10. So again, like I said, if you got Windows 7, 8, or 10, I'll put that in there, and you don't have NVIDIA graphics cards, um, like I said, right-click on the OBS Studio icon, go to Properties, and go to Compatibility. Again, check this box, select Windows 8, and that will, or, well, Windows 7 or Windows 8, if you're on Windows 10, select Windows 7 uh, just because the baseband of 7 is the same as Windows 10 um, and that's it and you should be good to go and if that still doesn't work right click on your desktop and see if you got that little NVIDIA control panel and that's about it so yeah rate, comment, subscribe, welcome back I guess for myself to YouTube and uh, I'm gonna have a whole bunch more stuff coming out hopefully when I have some time so I'll talk to you guys later enjoy and I hope this helps your issue with OBS Studio